Hey guys, um, MC Trey here doing um, a video on setting up your creative business. Let me just adjust this. So basically, this video is for those that are starting out, whether you're a musician, a rapper, a, a creative of some sort, you know, and you've decided that, okay, you want to take this one step further and you want to explore turning it into a business. So you've been making all this stuff, people are interested, people want to buy this and you're thinking, okay, this could be one of my, you know, things that I do or, or it could be your main thing that you want to do. The first thing I would recommend is registering your business name. Um, we'll mainly just focus on sole traders, you know, which is a type of business. There's also company and trust and partnerships, but I reckon just start with um, Soul Trader. So the first thing you'd want to do is register your business name. So, you know, if you're a rapper, maybe your business could be a uh, business name, could be linked to your rap name, or it could be totally different. That's up to you. Um, I'll, I always think it's good to have a separate business name because down the track, you may want to expand it a bit further and it would be separate to you as the individual okay so your first step would be to register your business name so you can go on to um, business registration sites for New South Wales search for the business name to see that it's not taken and if it isn't then you can apply to have that name um, the second step would be to register an ABN which is an Australian business number it's like a tax file number for businesses. So basically, if you go and do a show or, you know, you want to sell your T-shirts, um, they'll prob they'll ask, you know, do you have an ABN? And then you're able to provide the ABN on your tax invoice. So that would be the second thing, to register an ABN. The third thing I would recommend is if you're making music and you're putting it out on YouTube, it's getting played, on radio online you're performing the songs register the song on APRA so basically this is the registration where you put the details of who wrote the music who wrote the lyrics you know so traditionally um, it's shared between the writers and the composers or the lyric writers and the beat makers and the DJs as well um, so what I've done in the past is if a producer and I have worked on a song, I usually just split it 50-50, you know, in regards to APRA um, royalties. And so APRA collects money from gyms that play music, nightclubs, restaurants, radio, TV, everywhere. They collect this money and then they split it up amongst all the um, artists that are registered. So that's APRA very worth well worthwhile doing and you know you just set it up and you leave it there and every now and then you get a deposit into your bank account you know from songs that you've created over the years so they're my three tips to kind to starting out um when you're looking at setting up your creative business so to recap number one register your business name number two register your abn Number three, if you're a muso, register your works on um, APRA. i am put up a page with all the links to these websites so you can have a look. And if you've got more questions, just comment below, send through the questions and I'll come back to you when I can. Um, eventually, we'll go into law and looking at elements of creative law. But for now, we'll just focus on business name, ABN registration and registering your music. So hope that helps. All the best and um, feel free to keep following these videos. If you've got any questions, send them through. Peace.